We're starting with Roots Magic 7, and it's a piece of software that I'm familiar with, so uh, hopefully we can establish a good baseline to compare the other software to. Now, I am actually running the Windows version, but I'm running it on a Mac using Parallels. And the reason that I'm doing that is that when I tried to record this session on my Windows 10 laptop, the fan noise from the laptop really interfered with the audio quality, and I want to make sure you get the best quality. So on this first screen, I just initiated it. I, d I have not registered this copy, although I do have a license. And it's offering us to start with the full version or the free version. And I'm going to start by evaluating the free version. So click on that. There you go, File, uh, Open Recent, which I haven't opened anything, so let's go New. And I'm going to give my new file a name. We'll just call it Thompson RM7 Test. Now, on this screen, I have the um, option of changing where I want my file to go. I really don't care. My date format, uh, any numbers that I want displayed after the name. If I want to display the surnames in uppercase, if I want LDS support, if I need family search, family tree support, and if I want to enable web hints. Now, I don't care about any of this for this particular demonstration, but those are the options involved. What you're presented with here is a pedigree screen. And as you'll see, it's as simple as beginning to enter data. So the challenge is to enter three of my generations. And I'm just going to click to add person, like it says. And I'm going to add my great great grandfather. And the surname, of course, is Thompson. Uh, sex is male. No prefix, no suffix, no nickname. He was born uh, 14th of June, 1891. Now, I'm going to intentionally enter dates in different formats to see how the program handles it. I'm not going to worry about place. Uh, he died 09 October 1967, when I was seven years old. Uh, and burial, I don't know. So this, I hit OK and should add my first person. There we go. It shows me Frank on a uh, detail screen where I can add facts and events. Let me close that. And you see here in the pedigree chart now, I have my first person. Now, I have two options here. I can begin entering uh, father and mother from this screen, or I believe I can go to the family screen. Yes, I can. So I'm going to continue entering it from the pedigree screen because it's so simple. But if you wanted to add children to different family relationships, this family screen is where you would want to go. All right, so I'm going to add a new person as Frank's father. And uh, his father was Charles H. Thompson. Uh, no prefix. He's not living, of course. His birth was sometime in 1851. I, I think it was June. And his death was 10th of April, 1890. Oops. Uh, I hit something wrong there. 1898. All right, again, it presents me with the details here. I'm going to close that, and I have his father. So now I'm going to add his mother. Again, a new person. And his mother was Sarah Jane Raymond. A female, uh, nothing special. Obviously, she wasn't living. Birth was January 1850. And let me try the death date as 12, 10, 1912, and see it normalizes the dates, which is what I want it to do. Um, not going to put in place, hit OK. Now, you see here that it's listed Sarah Jane's spouse as Charles H. Thompson, but there isn't a marriage event yet. So let's go ahead and add a uh, fact. And we're going to go with marriage. And the marriage will be to Charles H. Thompson. And here the date will be 18th September 1889. 
Okay, uh, that should add the marriage event, see? And if I go to Charles, I should see the same event. And I do. Excellent. All right, so we're going to add one more generation just to flush this out. Charles H. Thompson, uh, his father was Daniel Hart Thompson. He's not living. And the birth date is 1 of June 1829. I've been capitalizing the month. Let me see what happens if I don't do that. 30th of July. I did it again. Let's see what happens if I just enter July uh, 1893. And uh, oops, can't normalize it if I don't type it incorrectly. So, and it capitalized it for me. So, great. I don't have to worry about that. Uh, okay, close that. Add the mother. And the mother was Abigail B, and surname was, or given us, uh, the current surname was Coates. And there's a lot of variations of spelling on that. And she was born in 1829 and died 9th of November 1856, uh, when Charles was only four years old. Sad truth. Okay. Tab out of there, normalize date, and see her. Let's add the marriage event again. I'm just going to search here and select marriage event to Dana Hart Thompson. And the date here is uh, 10th of October, 1846. Now you see I have uh, a pedigree chart that I've built out three generations of Thompsons in Roots Magic Essentials. 